Boudreau. Come here, Boudreau. What is up, guys? I am Samuel, and welcome back to Louisiana. So today, I am here with my dog, Boudreau, and we're gonna be talking about Boudreau for a second. Hey, buddy. So, uh, Boudreau lives out here with all our goats, and you can see our goats right here, and his job is to protect our goats. Come here, Boudreau, we got some video. So, Boudreau is a great Pyrenees dog, and a great Pyrenees is also a Pyrenean mountain dog. So, Pyrenean mountain dogs were bred in the uh, Pyrenees mountains around Spain, and they had this beautiful white fur that kept them warm in the cold and helped them blend in with the snow. And there's a goat eating my hair. Hey, Boudreau. So, Pyrenean mountain dogs, or great Pyrenees as they're also called, are actually really big dogs. They're about 120 pounds, or Boudreau is, <laughs> and they're really big and fluffy and they're fun to play with. They were bred to protect sheep and they were guard dogs, so that's why we have Boudreau to protect our goats. He makes friends really fast and he likes being with all his animals and his people. So he makes friends really quickly with everyone and if you walk up to him and give him pets, he'll be really happy for you to pet him. And he actually really loves getting pets. And when we feed him in the afternoons, he would rather get pets than eat his food. Boudreau, come here Boudreau. So he loves getting pets and it's really fun to pet a big old fluffy dog, but you actually have to do something with all this fluff. So you see he has a lot of hair, he has a really thick outer coat he can grab and you know you feel this thick outer coat. But he also has a uh, very shorter inner coat uh, of hair. Now he has a lot of thick fur and you see all this thick fur around his neck, but it gets kind of hot for him in the summer because we live in Louisiana and it gets extremely hot here. So some people say when it gets hot it's best to trim their hair off. But other people say it's best to leave it on because it acts as insulation and keeps the hot air out. So that's what some people say. There's a little um, little debate on what's best to do with the Great Pyrenees fur when it gets hot in the summer. But you do leave it on in the winter for them so we can stay nice and warm even when it gets cold outside. Hey buddy. So Great Pyrenees live about 10 to 12 years and we actually had a, another Great Pyrenees. And we've had a Great Pyrenees dog as long as I can remember to protect our goats. Our first Great Pyrenees name was Gabby and she died and we needed a dog pretty quickly to replace her to protect our goat. So we heard about this family that was moving and they had a Great Pyrenees and they couldn't take any pets with them where they were going. So we contacted them and we got Boudreau from them and this is Boudreau. He was full grown, he was about two years old when we got him and now he's about six. So we've had you for four years, buddy. Yeah, we have. So Boudreau's job is protecting our goats and he just makes friends with everyone instantly. His personality is almost identical to Gabby's just because that's what Great Pyrenees are like. They're really fun and lovable dogs and they love being around people and he, they just love getting attention. And um, he, all Boudreau wants right now is to be with me. He doesn't want me to film this video, but we're doing it anyways. So as you notice, we're in a fence. I don't know if you can see the fence, but there is a big fence here. And it's where we keep our goats. And Boudreau lives with the goats to protect them. So he fights off you know, any wolves or coyotes and he barks at them at night if he has to, to protect his goats. Now Boudreau has some really thick fur around his neck. And the fur around his neck is even thicker than all the rest of his fur. And the reason he has that is to protect him in case a wolf tries to bite his neck and kill him. He has all this thick fur around his neck to protect him. There's a goat! Ah! <laughs> guys, guys, a goat just knocked over my camera. No! <laughs> this is what it's like to film on a farm. So in this fenced-in area is where Boudreau lives. And um, the deal is, one time he had a tree fall on the fence and knock it down, just in a little short section, and Boudreau ran away. And we had to chase him down after a little while and find him. So the deal with the Great Pyrenees is they, they like to roam around. Um, they don't stay confined in one area. So if you're keeping a Great Pyrenees as a pet, you have to have them fenced in so they don't run away because that's what they will do. So Boudreau also has this really thick fur like I was talking about. And um, if you don't take care of his fur, hey buddy, um, he will big, get these really thick knots in his fur. And you might can see some back here. He has these big, oh here's one, a big thick wad of fur where it just grows together. So what you have to do is there's this brush right here that you brush his fur out with. There's hay in it now. But you can brush his fur. Come here, buddy. Come here. And you brush his fur, and he loves having his hair brushed because it means he's getting attention from you. And that's all Boudreau really wants is your attention. And after you brush his fur for a while, you can see how much comes out. 
So I'm going to try to show you guys how much fur we just brushed out. So all this fur right here is what I just brushed out of his fur. Yeah, Boudreau, you have a lot of hair, don't you? So that is what my dog uh, Boudreau is like. He's a beautiful great Pyrenees. They have these really nice thick fur coats. It's just fun to pet and they love getting pets. It's kind of ticklish back here and sometimes he'll shake his leg for you. But he's not going to do it right now. But that's Boudreau. I hope you had fun meeting him and that's going to end it for this video. We're going to say bye. Bye.